Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday. It is the 11th of April, 2020. So tomorrow is Easter. Um, before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind everybody that I will be live streaming tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So please join me for that. Okay, so we will definitely be talking a lot about that then. Uh, today, so you see some blue skies, not a horrible day. Uh, pulled in a decent thing with power today. We got into absorption mode pretty quickly. And uh, so the batteries are definitely doing their job. And then it just stops bringing in power is what it does now. So it'll like really reduce what we're bringing in because we don't need it. And uh, so I think I pulled in a little over five kilowatt hours today. Uh, just because the we didn't need it and it was weird it was so it was kind of cool actually so um, the short run is definitely making a really big difference in our power production and uh, making things a lot better that way so uh, anyway so I want to talk we'll talk about the title of this uh, will things get better when it warms up and I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings with that but I'm going to give you my opinion a lot of people think that when it gets warmer that the virus will dissipate and it will go away and then it might come back in the fall okay uh, I don't believe it's going to be going anywhere uh, because of the fact that if you look at Brazil right now they just uh, announced there's over a thousand positive cases of the virus down in Brazil okay uh, well Brazil is very very south of us here in the United States and it is very warm down there. So, uh, you know, the war I, warm temperatures are not making a difference with this virus. This virus is not going away in the warm weather. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's just, you know, that's just the way that it's going, unfortunately. So I, I, I do want to hear what you guys have to th say, what you think. Do you think that it will go away when the warmer weather comes? Um, I honestly believe that it will not go away. And uh, I think we're going to be in for a second round of this. Um, I think when the fall comes, we're going to have another really big uptick in the virus. And it's going to be in the same type of situation where people are going to be very concerned of what's going on. And uh, it's going to really catch more compromised people at that point. Unfortunately, um, like I said, I'm not trying to be you know, a doom and gloomer. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying that people need to be aware and be conscious of what is going on. Uh, that's why it's one of the reasons that I have really encouraged people to uh, put in bigger gardens than you've ever had before in your lives. Uh, definitely, you know, plan on doing a lot of canning this year. Get as many supplies as you possibly can. If we do have a lull uh, over the summer, I would definitely encourage people to get out there and get as much food as you possibly can. What's going on, Miss Molly? What's going on, baby girl? Yeah. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. Uh, so, definitely do the best you can to help yourselves be as self-sufficient as you possibly can. Uh, I think it's really, really important. I think it's imperative that we do that. Uh, I just, I had gotten information some people had sent me how certain Walmarts were not uh, selling seeds. They had it all blocked off and not letting people get seeds, which I think is insanity. It doesn't make any kind of sense. Why would you not want people to garden and to put in their own gardens and stuff like that? I don't understand that um, at all. It makes no sense to me. So I definitely would encourage you guys to, to do that and uh, get gardens. And obviously this dirt over here, and we're going to walk over here. Uh, you guys may have seen that. I had three truckloads of dirt brought in. And what this is actually was cow manure. Okay. And uh, so it was, um, you know, they turned it, turned it, turned it. So now it's a nice black rich dirt. And so he did that over a couple of years. And so now that's why that is dark. Um, and we are going to use that dirt for our raised beds that we're going to use here at the homestead this year. So that's going to be part of our, our garden thing that we do this year. Look at her go. <laughs> um, 
so anyways that's you know we're gonna do this whole area out here is gonna be a one great big huge garden area um, this was the area the garden was in last year we're gonna obviously utilize that again uh, but we're gonna put in raised beds as well and just really try to focus on getting a really good supply of food coming in this year um, also in the greenhouse we're gonna utilize that and get that going so it's going to be really interesting to see what we can do. Um, I definitely want to see how much I can grow through this next winter. Once we get things squared away with the greenhouse, I think that'll make a difference as well. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, probably go with more cold weather crops, depending on where we can keep the temperature of that greenhouse. But gardening is going to be a huge part of the future uh, of survival for everybody, I believe. Okay, so again, uh, I absolutely encourage you guys to definitely you know put in gardens like you've never had before we're going to talk about tomorrow in the live stream about food shortages and what i think and all that type of stuff that's coming up and we're going to go over all that then but uh so just you know letting you know ahead of time but uh so today uh i think we peaked out at like 41 degrees uh that's where we were at and so i did actually go for a ride today hey max hey maxie yeah, it's a good boy. Um, so I did go for a ride today, So, but I was layered up. Uh, but so the ride wasn't bad at all. It actually felt really good. It felt nice to get back out on a bike and get a nice ride. And I've been so busy with doing the, the different things here that we've been doing that I hadn't gotten a chance uh, to get out to ride yet this year. So uh, that was my first one of the year. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I believe it's going to be, I think it might be almost 60 degrees tomorrow. So hopefully I can get out and get another ride in tomorrow. But uh, I had to get out there, uh, clean the pipes out, as they say. So I opened it up a little bit, and it was nice. It was just it felt really really nice to be on a bike, and I really enjoyed it. So saw a couple other bikes out there. Not when I was riding, but later I saw a couple other bikes out there. But uh, you know that's that's how it goes. But uh, anyway. Um, so t the chickens today, now yesterday, uh, we ended up with 14 eggs yesterday, which I was like, wow, I couldn't believe, because I had it late, I was at 10, and then I usually have like one, one or two of the girls will lay late. So when I locked them up, uh, I went out and double checked at that point, and we ended up having four more eggs at that point. So we ended up with 14 eggs yesterday. And like I said, out of 16 hens, um, I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Uh, so today, Again, it's been a little cool today, not the best, and a lot of pretty windy and stuff like that. So we ended up with uh, nine eggs so far today. So I don't know if I'll get any more or not, probably not today, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain about nine eggs either. Uh, you know, they we take care of them, they take care of us. That's kind of how it goes. But uh, anyway, uh, so that's what's happening here. Like I said, it was uh, just... Uh, not not a lot of motivation, <laughs> to be honest with you today. Uh, we did have to run. Heather had a prescription that she had to pick up. Uh, we never got out of the car. We went through the drive through and we picked that prescription up for her. So that's when I saw the other bikes out when we were out then. But uh, we didn't come in contact with anybody today, which, you know, that was the whole premise of everything, just keeping a low profile. Uh, and even on my ride, I just went out and did a ride, you know, and... Uh, you know, I just, I needed that. <laughs> wind therapy. That's what we call it. We call it wind therapy. But uh, it felt really nice. And I plan on doing a, that a lot more, especially if this thing uh, drags on. Uh, I definitely will spend more time out getting out and getting on that bike. But, uh, so yeah, so anyway, um, they're calling. They got, we got some rain in the forecast for next week, so I don't know exactly uh, what I'm going to be able to do as far as getting going with the woodshed um, again this time of year for us up here is really hit and miss uh, we are really really fortunate when we built the building we had three really nice days in a row and so we were able to bang that out and get this building in and uh, when the weather warms up i'll stain it and uh, so that's that's going to be the game plan with that but uh, for right now it'll be like that and then um, i know i'll show you in here uh, I, th I showed you the windows the other day. That's right. So uh, I guess Mike is coming out tomorrow, and they're going to start trying to get some things done here uh, with the building. And so we'll see how that goes. 
cat seemed to like it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what's happening. Um, I just want to remind everybody again, on the website, PrepperNurse1.com, we have the Legacy Sale going on right now. It is 20% off that is, is taken at checkout. So if you go onto the website at PrepperNurse1.com and uh, you hit store, it'll drop down. You'll see Legacy Foods. You click on Legacy Foods, and uh, that's where you will see uh, everything that is available. Uh, again, it is going to be a 50 to 60 business day de uh, delay. So just be aware of that before you purchase. But the sooner you order, the sooner you will get your stuff. And again, the 20% will be taken at checkout. Okay. We also have the Prepper Nurse One community on my website. So again, you go to PrepperNurse1.com. You click on Prepper Nurse One community. You do have to register. Okay. But registering is totally free. It does not cost anything to register. So go in there and register. And then you, uh, you'll you be all set. And it's a great way to connect with like-minded people. If you want to just go in to read the message boards, that's fine. If you want to go in there to try to chat and connect with people, um, if you want to network, whatever way you want to do it, that's also fine. Uh, find people in your state or in your country uh, to try to form a group or whatever you're trying to do. It's really it's a nice resource for you guys to find like-minded people in the area that you live in. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. And again, it is totally free. So it's a good opportunity for you guys to connect with like-minded people. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, look at I got a whole crew of them. What's up, boys? There's A.B. What's up, A.B.? We got Abel, Molly, Max, and then you just saw Buddy go running by here a minute ago. So time of year too they like to be out more now that the weather's nicer and uh, so they are out quite a bit so that is what they do so anyway guys remember we are all in this together that is important to remember also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every single day uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life also remember guys STD it's one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time whatever you are trying to do Whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you. Okay, so stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you will be fine. Uh, you know, stay focused. You know, just do the best to help yourselves. That's really, really important. Okay, I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.